Look at my new stormtrooper. Look at that. Look how badass it is. Okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, what am I doing today? We're going to go get a burrito. I'm going to take you with me. Uh, don't get scared. Uh, then I have to come back here. i got to review a new movie, Gone Girl, directed by David Fincher. Just watched it last night. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do that. Um, and the point of this video is a lot of times I get asked, John, show us a video in the day of your life. Uh, it's not a very interesting thing. It's a little bit sad at times, but slightly mystical in the sense of demon sorcery. I don't even I don't think any of that even makes sense. But anyway, yeah, uh, you guys are gonna see what I do in my daily life to a certain extent. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm gonna gotta come back here and check this out. See, here's what I do when I set up my videos. I use these lights. Look at that. Look how cool that just makes. Look, I got another one right here. Watch this. Look at that. Look at that. See? Look at that ambiance right there. Huh? That Look how mystical and magical that looks right now. John, go get your burrito. Shut up, Darth Vader! You don't talk to me like that, okay? You're not my father. Okay, you're probably asking yourself, John, what's happening? I don't know. So let's, uh, yeah, let's go get a breakfast burrito. I need it. Do something. I'm not, I'm not wearing any pants right now, so... Uh, that's... <laughs> that's step number one. Okay, let's go. Ah... <sighs> It's a rainy day out. Look at this. Look at this. I kind of like it though. I like rainy days because you know why? I'm kind of I'm kind of a hermit slash mole. I like to stay inside as much as I can, and a rainy day gives you a reason to do that. And plus, the rain it keeps all the uh, all the good people in, and all the bad people can go out into society and do what they want. That's why I'm going to get a burrito right now. Let's go. I'm wearing flip-flops right now. Yeah, this, see, this is the good kind of rain. This is the kind of rain where you can still function outside, but yet not get soaked walking to your car. Let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, by the way, I'm not, I want to talk to you about these breakfast burritos just a little bit more now. Now, I want to give you the backstory because this is very important to the functioning of your daily life. It really, this is important information, so listen up. Uh, yeah, so one day, you know, I was I was gonna go to uh, like a Burger King to get a breakfast meal And you know, it's a little bit greasy and a little bit disgusting, but some days you're just like I need it So I was driving there and then I was like I want to get a chocolate milk though I don't get chocolate milks from the uh, the restaurants like McDonald's and stuff because they come in those little little tiny containers It's like one drink and it's gone. I don't I no no no, no. so I always go to the gas station and get a larger chocolate milk and connected to this gas station was a place called Elmo's. And they had the most delicious breakfast burrito I've ever had in my life. I took a risk and I it paid off. I'm just gonna say that. For $3.50, you get this nice little packaged deliciousness wrapped in a tortilla shell that just will blow your melon and make your life better instantaneously. Uh, all right, there it is. Look at it, look at it in all its glory. Elmo's Pizza and Subs. But they forgot to put delicious fucking breakfast burritos under it. Now it is connected to a gas station, like I said. And I know, I know, you typically, I have two rules in life. My first rule is, um, never wear white after Labor Day. And my second rule is, never buy your food where you buy your fuel. That's, uh, but you know, I gotta make an exception this time. I gotta, I need it. Hey, can I do the uh, breakfast burrito, the Western breakfast burrito? Yeah, sure do. Do a on that? yeah just a little bit, please. Uh, that'll do it. Awesome. That's how you do it. Dum 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 da da da. Look at that thing. Look at that. That's about six inches of deliciousness if I've ever seen it. Uh, that sounds weird. Anyway, guys, yeah, I'm going to sit here, and what I do, I eat my breakfast burrito, right? And then I've been watching TV shows. I, I just got done watching all the uh, the uh, seasons of The Sopranos. It took a couple weeks. Uh, and, uh, yeah, now I'm on to uh, new shows. I'm watching Boardwalk Empire. I'm on episode three right now. I like it. I, it's not one of those shows where I'm like, oh, i got to watch the next episode instantaneously. It's not like a Breaking Bad or a Sopranos uh, for me. And then I'm also going to watch... Game of Thrones. I know, I know. For two years, people have said, John, watch Game of Thrones. I'll kill you. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start watching that as well. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to eat my uh, breakfast burrito. And, uh, yeah.
Okay, I'm about to record my Gone Girl review, uh, and here's how I set up everything. I got two lights right here. I got a couple lights down there on the floor to light up the, the back wall there and to light up my Stormtrooper. It makes it just a little bit more badass. And then I have another light over there that's kind of like the light that shines on the back of my head to kind of give me a little bit of separation from the background. Yeah, it's crazy. And then I don't just stop there because when I'm talking in this room, it picks up a slight echo and you can't get rid of all of it, but I try to get rid of as much of it as I can. And to get rid of the echo, uh, my cheapest solution I can think to do is I take a blanket and I put it over a clothes rack and then I put the blanket right here behind the camera. So that way when I'm talking towards the camera, uh, rather than have my voice bounce off the wall back there, it, you know, some of the echo kind of picks up. I get rid of some of the reverb and it goes into the blanket. So it helps a little bit. Um, and also, uh, what else is there? Oh, here are my notes. I take a few notes for each movie review. That way I don't end up talking for two hours about nothing. So I found if I just take like four or five little notes, I write them down and I'm like, okay, make sure just to say this, 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 and then do whatever you want in between. So just little bullet points. And uh, yeah, if you guys review movies, I highly recommend it. It'll help you actually, well, make a point and not forget what you're going to say half the time. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I need to set the manual focus on my camera right here. And right here, there you go. And by setting the manual focus, that means I can blur out my background and keep me in focus a little bit. And I don't have anyone to sit there and do it, and it's hard to do it by yourself. So I actually use my Darth Vader as a uh, focus point. So I gotta get him in focus and uh, just make it look a little bit sexy. Okay, so here's my view of you guys when I make videos. That's right, this is what I'm looking at as you guys look at me. So. Uh, yeah, sometimes, you, you know, you, you sit here for a little bit talking about something and you kind of just, your brain melts a little bit, or at least mine does. Uh, and I'm just like, where am I? And I have to get up and walk around for a couple minutes and come back down and finish the video. But yeah, I'm just, look at that. So it's like a parallel dimension. I'm looking at you, you're looking at me, and I'm looking at myself. Who's that asshole? Alright, so I just got done editing uh, my uh, Gone Girl review. It took me maybe, I think that actually was one of the records for me editing. I think I did that in an hour and a half. So uh, usually it takes about two to three hours. And don't ask why, things just happen. Here's my thing, when I start editing videos, I can't just, like, if I make a joke or reference something, I have to look up the image for that and put it on there. Because for me, it's just like, I like to throw as many visuals as I possibly can into my videos. Uh, or else, you know, if you just sit there, if you're watching a video and you see some guy talking, it kind of gets boring after like three minutes. So. Visuals help, or at least that's my motto. Uh, what else is there? Oh, I ate a, um, a bag of Jack's Lynx uh, small batch beef jerky, teriyaki jerky. It's delicious. Highly recommend it. Uh, so yeah, I got to make a thumbnail for this video, upload it to YouTube. It should be up here in the next, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. And right now, this is my favorite time in life. Oh, now I got to render it. Hang on, hang on a second here. Make movie... Create file. All right, there we go. Now it's rendering. Now it's just saving and completing, and I don't have to do anything else now but make a thumbnail and upload it. That is, that right there is my favorite moment. That's the moment of relief where an awesome wave of relief just washes over me, and I feel instantly better about who I am and what I'm doing in life. I'm telling you guys, the best feeling, if you guys don't make YouTube videos but you watch a lot of them, the best feeling, and I'm willing to bet for a majority of YouTubers, is when you upload that video and it's done. It just feels so good. You feel like you accomplished something with your life. So yeah, now let's do this. Is anybody else getting sick? Hey, right, let's keep going. Huh? All right, that's enough. Let's calm down. So yeah, uh, what else am I doing today? Uh, I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm gonna go see the movie Annabelle. I've heard it's shit, but either way, I'm gonna go see it and I'll have a new uh, review up for Annabelle. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you check out my Gone Girl review over on the Flick Pick channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave your thoughts, your opinions down below, and I'll see you next time.